Hello, I'm Kevin. This is Kevin's Kitchen. Uh, tonight I have a lot of preparing to do, food preparation. But before I prepare that food, I need to prepare my knives and of course my working surface, which is filthy. It was even worse before I started, but uh, so the knives I'm using, I'll explain a little bit more, but they're used J.A. Henkel's knives that I bought from a Goodwill. And what I'll be using to sharpen is a WorkSharp Culinary. And I'm going to be using the accessory guides. They have a Western and an Eastern, and this defines the bevel. Western is 20, 10 degrees on each side. Eastern is 8 degrees on each side for 16 degrees. Very sharp, good for slicing. And that's what I'm going to be using. Uh, the standard one, I believe is in between these two. I forget exactly what it is, but that's what comes naturally on it, unless you get the, the extras. And then, uh, it's going to take a bit more time, because these knives are in pretty bad shape, and I'm actually going to be reprofiling them, because right now I believe they're closer to the 20%, so I'm going to be dropping it down to 16%. So one thing I wanted to mention about the WorkSharp is the dust that comes from it, which if my camera will focus, not really. Anyhow, as you can see, there's a lot of particulates here, and these are from the knives. I actually have a microscope. I can show a bit of this. So when you're sharpening, of course, you're removing material. And you can see it's more heavily based on this side, which is the upward motion of the belt. So, you know, this stuff won't kill you, uh, but it's not something you'd want floating around in your food, if just for appearance sake, if not for possible health risk. So if you are going to have the WorkSharp Culinary in your kitchen, perhaps sitting you know, on your cutting board or on your counter, be sure when you're done using it to have a towel or something nearby, a little wet one, and it comes up quite easily. So just keep that in mind. You know, same thing with any sort of sharpening device. If you're using whetstones and such, obviously you're not going to want to use them directly on your food prep board uh, unless you decide to clean up that space afterwards. Overall, my opinion of this device is very high. Uh, it makes short work of sharpening. Uh, it does still take a long time, especially if you're going to reprofile an edge. I have an older video, which I will upload a little later, of restoring this knife. And if you can see, uh, there's some waviness in the edge there. There were quite a few dents and dings and chips. Uh, this blade was in quite bad shape. And, you know, I'm not going to shell out several thousand dollars for very expensive shop equipment when I especially don't have the money, space, or the time to really get acquainted with it and use it properly. In the future, I'm sure I will do that as my interests and my hobby evolves. But currently, uh, this fulfills uh, my needs perfectly, and I am very happy with it. Uh, the flexibility that this machine offers in terms of the uh, guided angles, the sharpening angles here, is very nice. Uh, you can even sharpen pocket knives and such things with this. Uh, Western edge guide is 20 degrees, so it gives a very, very strong working edge, especially for um, utility type uh, blades that you might, say, be using to do some gardening work, or outdoor activities. Uh, WorkSharp also makes other sharpening devices. I have one, which I will be reviewing uh, in the future, uh, which is specific for 
uh, utility sort of devices or outdoor kind of blades. Uh, let's see here. Uh, also included uh, with this device was this polishing rod, which also, you know, you could sharpen with it, but it would frustrate you to no end because it's ceramic. So it's much better just to sort of refine the edge or keep the edge uh, sharp. And in between sharpening sessions with uh, the plug-in motor device here, you just run the edge along this. And I'll try to include a little video of that. And I'm going to give a little final analysis of the blades, which I restored for this video. They're just over there sitting on my bed. And I will show how that works.